Man, I'm so excited about the Powerwall 3. Tesla Energy is one of the biggest things that you guys just don't know about because mostly people are talking about EVs, electric vehicles. But I'm going to be talking about electric batteries. Batteries are important to securing our energy grid. In our energy, we need batteries. Well, welcome to the Powerwall 3. so wait hold on let's take it hold on slow your roll because you thought i was just going to let it play look at this one power all three can be built every 25 seconds every 25 seconds we have one of these bad boys coming off the assembly line talk about being able to create products and services look most people are not aware most people are not up to speed when it comes down to the energy department. So this is why energy of Tesla is very important as far as future revenues go. Integrated power, electronics, and thermal system, uh, systems enhance efficiency. <laughs> Able to operate in some of the most harshest conditions on the planet. So Power Wall 3 is our most powerful home battery yet. And I don't know about other battery makers, but there's not many in actual North America. So again, I always tell you guys that Tesla is doing more than just cars. We're powering homes and transportation. Tesla Energy, something that most people are not aware of. I'm always going to bring you up to speed on many things. Now, watch this video. It's make your own electricity. So at your home, remember, the Powerwall plus Tesla Solar. You could use the actual tiles that you see here on the video, or you can actually use the solar roof, which is one and the same with the roof that goes on top of the house. But let's allow the video to roll. I know have solar. I said, if the grid goes down, does the solar work? And they said, no. I said, well, what's the point? Why do you have solar? Here in California, we have lots of climate events. When you have solar and a power wall, I get to control all that. I like the independence. My financial advisor had put Tesla solar on her house with the battery. Steve recently purchased this house and Steve wanted to put solar on it. And I said, go look at Tesla. They installed the panels on the roof and the power wall everything that it needed in that one day. Here's what I'm looking at. And that one day, now before he gets into the application, how many times do you hear people talking about they wanna go off the grid? How many times do you hear people always talking about, look, I'm going off the grid. I'm going off the grid. I hate the government. I hate whoever, just fill in the blank with whoever they think is the enemy. No disrespect, okay, cool. So off the grid solution would be Tesla, would be our solar roofs, would be our power walls, that will allow you to go off the grid if you want to be self-sufficient. Looking at on the app, Powerwall is 100% and 2.7 is going to the grid. During the day, when the cost of energy is lower, the solar runs the house. When the cost of energy is higher, the Powerwall runs the house. It automatically knows when to do it. The last bill was a minus 6483, but look at the credit for the years to date, $492.82. I feel great. <laughs> I bet you would feel great with that much credit available when it comes down to your electricity. That sounds like a great product, right? Not only allowing you to go off the grid, but also allowing you to save money, allowing you to be more efficient and effective. This is what we always talk about. We always talk about we want to be off of grid. I want to be off the grid. I don't want to be tracked. I don't want to be plugged in. I want to be self-sustainable. This is a path towards self-sustainable homes and energy. So as the lady said, when energy is low, they're just going off of solar. And during the night, when the actual energy is higher during peak hours, 
she's actually pulling from the power wall, the energy she stored throughout the day. Shoot, you can make your housing electricity more effective and efficient than the actual grid that you're actually under. Our, our, our national grid is more inefficient and more effective. It's not the worst. No, for sure. We're not South Africa. But net, net, at the end of the day, this is the better solution. Now, let's go to Doug. He's going to be the utility and VPP service. So let's see what he has to say about virtual power plants. This is something that Tesla is also doing. And I think it's going to be very interesting. So one, we talked about residential homes. And now we're going to still be talking about Tesla's energy. But we have many different energy products. So let's continue. VPP stands for virtual power plants. It means that as a collective community of power all owners, we can band together and supply electricity back to the grid, just like a large power plant. Participating is simple. It's all within your app, from enrollment to participation, to opting out if you must, to payment. You always maintain full control. You can opt out of events. You can change your backup reserve. Participating in virtual power plants really is the benefit for everybody. It's using your power wall when you don't need it to support the grid, and you get paid for doing it. Now, what's a better solution than that, right? Becoming your own virtual power plant, actually linking up, being able to go on the grid, off the grid. I mean, the choice is yours and you're doing it just from an application. Imagine that, guys, that we're now in a day where actual homes can be charged off of just the energy from the sun. Can you imagine that? Now, somebody's going to say, well, that's not all homes. Of course not. But a good amount of homes can be their own power plants. Sustainability at its finest. Products like this are only coming from companies like this called Tesla. Please name someone else who's doing it better. Name someone else who's in the actual energy department making batteries and building factories out. We got Nevada, we got California, and then we got Shanghai. But in America, we got Texas, Nevada. This is where we're at. And there has been some breakthrough through new technology and new methods for actually creating batteries, but we're not going to go into that on this actual video. The only thing we're going to talk about is you actually looking into this actual service and product. And if you're an investor or you're just going to be a customer or both, at the end of the day, this is very interesting because a lot of people don't have conversations about the energy department. They have conversations about electricity, but dealing with vehicles. And this is why I said we must highlight the things in the areas where people are not paying attention to. We must focus and actually see what is the potential of that actual product or service. And these products and services have massive amounts of potential from a population which is screaming up and down, shouting from the mountaintop that they want to be self-sustainable. They want to actually prepare for doomsday. They want to prepare for the zombies. They want to prepare for a meltdown. They want to prepare for the Illuminati. NWO, WEF, WHO, whatever it is, here you go. Here's an opportunity to actually be able to provide energy for your own home and not have to rely on the grid. Just an idea, right? Go check out the numbers, go to the website and see if it's a good fit for you. But once we look at the also numbers on revenue, our energy department is starting to bring in revenue. And it's going to be counting for a good amount of the actual profits. So even though it's not even more than 10% of the revenue at this point, it does make up about 10 plus 20%, yeah, 20% plus of the actual profit. So that's the important part. Excuse me. The profit margins are very good on these products. And so imagine it's growing year over year. Every year it's growing. And also the profit margins are larger than the actual EV business. This is very interesting because something exciting. I hope you guys at least check out the product. Go see the Powerwall. Go see the Mega Pack if you're interested in actually purchasing it or just interested in knowing it because you're an investor or looking to invest. But at the end of the day, let me put this down. This is not investment advice. I see you guys on the next episode. Like, share, subscribe. Everyone hates Tesla. I don't understand when we could power your home. Shout outs to the Tesla team and Elon for the win. I'll catch you guys on the next episode.